Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to another Let's Play video here in the FetURV. I know it's been a while, school has been busy, but now it's pre break and I can get you all the necessary Let's Plays that I've been missing. So, um, I'll be completing Life is Strange 2 Episode 2 and I'll be finishing uh, the entire game of Before the Storm. Um, I'll be trying to get that to you um, this week, hopefully. So. So at the time of this recording, I am um, recording um, these, and I'm recording uh, Before the Storm, which is this weekend, and then the week that will be posted, which you're watching right now, that's when they will, that will be up. I'm, I'm going to be scheduling them uh, throughout the week, so like Monday will be this, and then Wednesday will be, I don't know, something like that, some kind of schedule. But anyway, so just to recap what happened last time. Um, Okay, spoilers, by the way, very huge spoilers if you haven't seen it, uh, seen the last um, episode. So we were on, we were in the uh, forest. Um, we've been walking for several miles and we finally found this house, actually. So we stayed there and we had some fun. We played some board games. And also before that happened, we got to see um, Daniel's powers. Mm. He was lifting rocks. He, he, he was doing it very easy, but some of the bigger rocks he had trouble with. Um, unfortunately, major spoiler, the dog unfortunately passes away mushroom. He, oh, she unfortunately dies in this, so that was very heartbreaking, but life must go on. And so they catch a ride, I don't know uh, what ride they got, or they just, I don't know, I forgot, but they made it to their grandparents, and that's where we left off, so hopefully we get to see what the grandparents are up to, and if they'll invite us in which I hope they do. So anyway, let's get right into it with part two of episode two. Okay, let's finally ring their doorbell. Anyone home? <laughs> It'd be weird if there's no one home. Okay, what if fine. they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. Yeah, I'm sure they're here. Come on. Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. We don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that... Daniel? <laughs> What's going yep. On out here? I heard... Look who's here. After all this time. Yeah. What the hell are you doing here? Steven, watch your mouth. <laughs> well, it's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. <laughs> well, that was a warm welcome. Nice warm cup of hot chocolate. Hey, is it, uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Yeah, no kidding. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Uh-oh. Good to be inside. Yeah, no Finally. kidding. I just hope they feel so awkward to be here. Oh, shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Mm. I'm sure that's a good idea. I, 
Remember that. Hmm. I think it used to be in the living room. Oh. We have to do hmm. something. <sighs> Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Our grandchildren are worried by the police for murder. I know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping I'm not guilty for crying out loud! Oh my gosh. Yeah, just ask. Figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. Oh, Lord. What? What do you have to say to us? Or me, specifically? Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh... Do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? No. I don't want to be mean, but I'm so mad, so... No! That's fucking bullshit. I never touched the guy. No, don't, don't get mad, Sean. We have to ask. We only know what we ah, saw I'm in the sorry. news. All I know is that... He shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but... Why did you run away if you're innocent? Yeah, exactly, to protect Daniel. I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand, but... You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Yeah. Then it would end up in foster care. Uh, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Really? Anyway, seems at least highly we've likely. managed to come here alive. Mm -hmm. That's the important. Thing. We're glad you two are okay. Sorry, this is a little bit loud for me. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? Uh... Mexico. <sighs> Go down to Mexico? Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean. You can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left. Your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and mm -hmm. uh, we want to prove it, okay? Thank Seriously? you. Seriously? That's really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Mm -hmm. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> 
Yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So nice. So, I bet you're hungry. Yeah. Let me fix you something. The music is what makes it. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. It feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Why would you say not for me? Sure, yeah. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um. And Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh. Everybody else. Oh my. You are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. So nice. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. <laughs> well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Mm hmm. What? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Sure. Maybe find some of her stuff? <laughs> I actually kind of want to know why. Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where okay. we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. No, you're kinda you know what right. I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your. Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I'm wondering that too. I don't know. Oh. I concentrate and it just happens. Hmm. 
Does it hurt Wait. at all? Does it hurt? Nah. <laughs> it's kind of no. itchy though. And it's exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. Yeah, they already know, have enough questions about our police. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Mm-hmm. Should Sleep be. No <sighs> come. I can already tell something bad's gonna happen with that because of the foreshadowing plus the trailer. So... Right. It's morning! If only, if only uh, nights are that quick. I mean, they kind of are, but... Uh-oh. Oh, a week. Well. And Daniel's gone. Of course. Of, uh, just of course. Are you not gonna notice? Or are you fine with it? I guess he's fine with it then. Hmm. All right. I mean, it has been a week. Oh, so. Man, I could sleep all day long in this bed, mm. oh, but I'm way too hungry. Oh. <laughs> Just your laughter down. Man. I thought that was like an evil laugh, but it wasn't. I miss that dirty little dog so much more than I thought I would. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. <laughs> it's all covered with snow. We're not allowed to get out. Oh. Well, never mind. That's cool. Claire dug this up for us. Hmm. That's such a baller in his suit. Oh, the book. This is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. <laughs> Wonder if Brody noticed his hula girl was missing. <laughs> and then there's some clothes. Oh, get dressed. <laughs> Downstairs. All right. I'm allowed to go out now. <laughs> You're allowed. The backpack. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Mm-hmm. Very lucky. A little bit low on cash, but you have quite a lot. Pretty badass. <laughs> oh, the That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Mm-hmm. I want to see what's going on down there. Sean! Wait. Finally! Oh! Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Got it! Choo choo! Oh. This reminds me of my grandpa. He has a, going he has a, a train to. like, like this, but it's a lot you. bigger. Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. Yeah, it's but, amazing. Uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. I won't. this better not sneak in they oh. won't like it of course when I mean, you got you got a point though okay it's been locked ever since we got here oh. I kind hmm. of don't give a fuck this <laughs> All right, I want to go downstairs and eat because you said you were hungry. So, all right. Oh, yeah. 
Hello. my. Look who's awake. Hello. Good morning. Oh, sorry. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Waffles! <laughs> Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can <laughs> show him the boxcar later. <laughs> I love how they're getting along. I love waffles. What's on the menu? Please mm. tell me it's waffles. What's on the menu this morning? Well, someone told me the buttermilk waffles. Yay! Mm. I love mm. awesome. waffles. Are you boys done playing? <laughs> we had an express delivery with the passengers, <laughs> but the engine goes down. Yep, oh, has to go straight to the workshop. Oh, good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? <laughs> gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sugar. <laughs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. <laughs> Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. Ooh, as you eggs and you're the best waffles. cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Mm -hmm. It's great. Um Yeah. Yeah. I'll say it's nice. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. Mm -hmm. It feels safe. Unlike the big city. Yeah, you got a point there. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and Aww. things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. No kidding. But we're all it's taking care of him city. here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your <gasps> age. Ooh, cool. Wait, could that be Captain Spirit? Hmm. I really hope it is. Well, that was quick. Or maybe, th maybe that was like a time skip or something. I don't know. Hey, what are we talking about? Stop! Stop it, you crazy! Hey, what's going on back there? Nothing. My gosh, Samuel, did you oh, not hear the rule? I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something. About uh, that oh. locked room upstairs. I want to know about that, too. <sighs> I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Well, then why is it locked? Why are you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And uh, besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? Mm. This is bullshit. Daniel, <laughs> language... <laughs> why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Mm. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Yeah. Stay in the back, okay? Uh, I thought you were gonna wait for Sean. Are you not? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Hmm. Why lock it then? Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. Yeah. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Mom contacted you? Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, 
You have to respect my rules under my roof. Okay? Yeah. Of, of course. course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. Mm. All right. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Tanny will cool. freak. <laughs> Thank you. I just hope he didn't go out the front. Okay, I'm... Okay. So I have to go look for Steven then, because he... Is this the back? Yeah, that looks like the back. I have to go find Steven, though. He should be upstairs with the train. Right? Oh, no, there's Daniel. I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. Daniel's going nuts in here. Where is he? Um, okay. Where? This used to be Karen's room. Their hmm. mom. Wonder what they've done with it. Where's the... <laughs> Where's Grandpa? I hope we won't get Claire and Steven into trouble. I can't see a thing in here. Ah. Uh, Is it? Oh. Uh, shoot. I don't know. What does this note say? As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. If you do laundry, please follow the, the, these simple rules. Do not mix whites and colors ever. Use one cup of detergent red box for each load. If you wash my clothes, use a delicate cycle so you don't ruin any more of my clothes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyone in here? I hate this. Oh, that's just a pantry. <clears throat> Where is Stephen? Seriously. I'm sorry. Hmm. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about it's all okay. this. It's, it's fine, really. We don't have to. Hey, Claire. What's on your mind, Sean? Um, about the name. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles. Oh, poor man. Used to be a basketball coach. But had to move out here after his wife's passing. Did Daniel just go outside? He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. Uh -oh. His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think he could be a good influence on Daniel. Hmm. This boy has spent too much time on the road. Yeah. And I'm not He's always right the there. best role model. Dad's funeral? Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time. But we sent flowers. Hmm. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. I just want to make sure. Somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. What'd you think of Dad? What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, he was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Hmm. Sounds, Sounds like that. Like he wasn't one to smooth things over. Hmm. Trust me. I know the type. But he did raise you boys on his own. Can't argue with that. Yeah. He worked his ass off for us. Wish I realized that sooner. Don't 
worry, Sean. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. It's always a pleasure mm -hmm. to speak with my grandsons. Where is he? Oh! Aha! Mm -hmm. I think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Oh. Sorry. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I've, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. It's... Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. <laughs> hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. Okay, so what do you so, want to talk to me? Listen, about? I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Oh, no. To be fair, I actually forgot about these things. Okay, let me think about this. Okay, so if I hide the secret... That's good. But then if I... He's wanting to know, and I don't know if I want to lie about this. I mean, we... If Daniel doesn't... Okay, I told Daniel not to do anything about it. But if I do something about it, that's kind of breaking the trust. Who? I'm bleeding on my chin. Oh, well. Yeah, I'll worry about that in a little bit. I'm gonna hide it. Um... Not really. I what think it's best. Things? Well, I... I'm not sure how to put it. Like, some kind of invisible force. Oh, uh, yep. The yep. holy gift or something. Yeah, he's uh, on to it. He's on to it. Yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. Yeah. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Mm -hmm. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. Yeah, I could get that. She adores Daniel. And just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is... Maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... I like it here. Puerto Lobos. We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run. <sighs> that won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us. And you have to think about your brother, you know, his yeah. future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. And for you guys, too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Yeah. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? It's of course now. not. I don't think but I everything's do different now. I know. Yeah. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh, Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. Thank you. You guys enjoy the sun. We will. Don't you worry. We've had plenty of it for a month. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. <laughs> it's a shed, so. 
All right. So we're about 35 Still minutes in. in my lair. You know, you were afraid to come in. Oh, there you are, Sean. Oh, hello. Got the key? Hey. Yeah. I have to go out and run some errands. Okay. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? <laughs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? Sure. They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Yeah. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you! Uh, no! <laughs> I am busy! <laughs> busy my ass! Come over here! <laughs> you gotta find me oh. first! <sighs> Jeez. Of course! I thought he was in there! Is he upstairs? <laughs> Don't think I saw you! I get why Dad never... Oh. What? What? <laughs> I thought I found him. Dang it! Okay. Hello. I don't see anybody. I know you're in there. Gotcha. What the? Oh. Behind you. <laughs> yeah. Very funny. <laughs> no more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. <laughs> Again? I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. You're welcome. Okay, um, I guess I will tidy up our room, right? Or do I have to get our clothes first? All right, time to Here take care of that laundry. Here, I'll tidy up the mess first <sighs> in the laundry. Oh, okay, that was quick. Come on, man. I put all your toys in the trash, dude. Of course not. <laughs> but next time you bail on me, maybe I will. <laughs> Where are our clothes? Do I have to go down in the laundry? Or do I have to like, get them? Here. Okay, I need to first find the laundry first. And then I can... Then... Okay, I feel like I'm going... Oh, wait. Oh, right. I'm glad I looked in this room. Right here. Okay, so I don't think a load is finished. All you do is find. Okay, I need to find my clothes. Okay, I I saw pajamas, but I think I have to look in the in the closet or drawer or something to find them. Okay. Um. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. <laughs> Um, clothes? Hmm. So... Do I have to look in here for his clothes? Or like... What? No? I don't know. Okay, so I have to go outside and check the garden shed. I guess I'll do that first. Alrighty. We spent the whole week locked up in the house. Gotta do the laundry first. Well, never mind. 
Okay, seriously, what am I supposed to be looking for? I know, like, the laundry, of course, but, like, I, I didn't see any of our clothes in there, so, can I talk to you? No. Hmm. This is weird. Um, where did we put them? I look like under the bed or something. Daniel was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> Good. He deserves to be spoiled. I know about the laundry, but still... Like... Our dirty clothes are in the bathroom. Oh! Obviously. Sorry! Hmm... There they are. Way too Let's long. Get it over with. Like, way too long. Okay. Down to the laundry we go. Alright, and wash. How many programs does this thing have? <laughs> okay. It will do. Okay, now we can go outside. And I went the wrong way again. Careful! <gasps> Sean! Oh, shit! Got you. Seriously, man. Golly! Now can we go out? Okay. Yeah. Time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> Yes! All right, finally, let's go outside. Everything's covered in snow. Oh, man, finally. It feels so good to be outside. I love how at least footprints. Reminds me of the cabin. <sighs> right? Oh, oh. Oh. I'll do the same. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Watch uh. out for the pack. <laughs> Okay, let's open the shed. Get ready for storage wars. <laughs> What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. Oh, of shit. course. <gasps> Sean, look. Oh, there's Captain Spirit. <gasps> oh, yep, I remember that. What? We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, I just fell down into the snow. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That T-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> oh man! I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh god. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Oh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. <laughs> I'm fine! Sure? Listen, I shouldn't... 
Do you know them? It, it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Mm -hmm. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Hello. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Our grandparents. Oh, uh, yeah. They're our grandparents. Oh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I, uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Is it? Is it? Really? Uh, never mind. See you around. Sure. Thanks, guys. See you later. Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. <laughs> did you want me to let him fall? Really? I mean, oh no. I feel split again. Part of me wants to do one thing, part of me wants to do the other. This game tricks your mind. <laughs> okay. I know how to pick a choice, so you go away. Okay, if I can, I want to concede because of what he said, but I also want him, to, I want to remind him of the rules, too. But also kind of like conceited. If if I can remind him the rules without telling him to put people in danger, then like Okay, I'm sorry, but if we're if we want to stay together, we do not need to use our powers. I'm gonna say remind him of the rules. I know you only wanted to help, but it's too dangerous for both of us. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, rules are boring. Yeah. But it'll be worse than boring if we get busted. Yeah, here. that's Come exa on, exactly. Steven already saw you using your powers. <sighs> Fine. I'll be careful. I'll never help anybody again. Okay? Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your powers. Yes. From now on, you stick with me all the time. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's a, that actually went out really well. Better than I expected. Ooh. Cool. I'm guessing they finally got it open or about... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, the next morning. Okay. That must have been a toy that he got in the shed or something. Wake up! It's the next morning! Oh, fuck. That oh, kid never listens. Shoot. Yeah, I mean, you're right there. Okay, let's get dressed again. Do we see him? No. Okay. Okay, I think we're gonna stop here. I think it's a good point to stop. And yeah, we got a lot. I mean, it might not seem a lot done, but I think it got a lot done. We finally found the grandparents. They let us stay for, let's see, about um, roughly over a week, maybe a week and a day now. And we saw Captain Spirit. We were introduced to him. And now uh, Daniel didn't follow the rules. Ugh. So, yeah, that's going to be fun to deal with. <sighs> okay, but anyway, if you enjoyed this Let's Play and want to see more, uh, more of these in the near future, which I'll be definitely doing regardless, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Uh, comment down below what you thought, questions, concerns, comments, anything like that. And also, don't forget to hit the notifications bell down below when you subscribe to know when uh, videos such as these have been uploaded or when I go live during my gaming live streams. 
for Q and A's. And a Q and A will be debuted when I reach 200 subscribers. And at the time being, I I think we're at 188 subscribers, maybe 187. So yeah, we are almost there, about 12 to 13 subscribers away. And I will do a live Q and A for y'all and answer all of your questions that you have for me. And I'm hoping to get my new channel or huge channel update, whatever you want to call it, out this week. So hopefully that will happen. I'll do videos about it, all that stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I can't wait to fi finish this episode to look really promising. And we'll start to see lots of choices to make. <sighs> I can't wait. But anyway, that, that'll be all for this last episode of Life is Strange 2, Episode 2, Part 2. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.